Let's do an example. Now this is the most simplest example from reduction formulae. So this is just a basic starting point. Suppose, just suppose that uh, we're given the following reduction formula for this integral. What we're asked to do is calculate I sub 7. So how do we do it? Well, you wouldn't want to do that by hand. So let's call this, you guessed it, star. So as a first iteration, we're going to let n equals 7 and then keep on going. So i sub 7 is going to be 6 on 7 minus, uh, sorry, times i sub 5. Okay? So we've broken i sub 7, the integral i sub 7, down to 6 on 7 times i sub 5. So we can keep on applying that until we get down to something simple that's very easy to integrate. So let's go up here with n equals 5. It's going to be 4 on 5 times i sub 3. OK? So again, i sub 3, we can break that down a little bit. OK, so it's going to be 2 on 3 times i sub 1. OK, so you can see how, how it's an iterative process. You've got to do a few steps just to simplify things. Now, i sub 1 is a pretty simple integral. It's just the integral of sine x from 0 to pi on 2. So we can actually just do that little integral, and we're done. So what's the integral, integral going to be? 1, right. Now, if you want to simplify that, of course you can, but I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay? Pretty easy. Pretty easy. It certainly beats integrating sine x to the power 7 by traditional methods. 